Hi guys, in this video we're going to look at non-infectious disease. We're going to first define non-infectious disease and then look at the three different categories or types of non-infectious disease being inherited, nutritional and environmental diseases. So firstly, non-infectious disease is not caused by a pathogen. So unlike infectious disease, which is caused by a pathogen, usually a microbe, non-infectious is not caused by a pathogen. Uh, and we'll talk about what it is caused by shortly. Uh, but the point is that because it is not caused by a pathogen, it cannot be transmitted the same way that infectious disease can. And we can class these three types, uh, class non-infectious disease into three categories or types. And we'll look at these now. The first one is an inherited disease. So this is a disease that has a genetic basis and is passed from parent to offspring. Now there's a lot of different inherited diseases and some of them are minor like color blindness while some are quite major like Down syndrome which we'll look at in a bit more detail shortly. Now you may be able to treat these diseases through either drugs or getting a particular surgery uh, or even diet for some of them. Uh, but they're generally uh, not curable. Uh, however, you can screen for them uh, prior to or during pregnancy uh, and family counselling can be provided uh, once the likelihood is determined. An example of an inherited disease uh, is Down syndrome. So Down syndrome is caused by trisomy 21, that's three chromosomes in the uh, 21st pair of chromosomes, so you've got an extra chromosome there. Uh, this is caused by um, non-disjunction during meiosis, and there are some fairly serious symptoms. So there are some physical symptoms as well as mental symptoms, and uh, about 40% of sufferers have a congenital, so a genetic heart defect as well. So this is a pretty serious inherited disease. And unfortunately, there is no cure for it. A nutritional disease is pretty much that. It's a disease caused by poor nutrition and the body not getting all the nut nutrients uh, which it needs. And these are generally quite easy to treat. First, you just need to identify what nutrient the body isn't getting and then uh, introduce that nutrient into the diet. Uh, but some of these diseases can be fairly severe. An example of a nutritional disease is scurvy. So it's caused by a lack of vitamin C and it affects the soft tissue in the body. So particularly looking at the gums, leading to loss of teeth, uh, as well as bleeding from the eyes, uh, splotches on the skin uh, and swelling in the limbs. So it's a pretty, pretty nasty disease, uh, but fairly easily treated. So once it's diagnosed, you get an injection of vitamin C and then uh, increase the amount of vitamin C in your diet. Uh, this was once a problem when long sea voyages meant that uh, fresh fruit and vegetables wasn't available, not so much in the modern world. An environmental disease is, again, a disease that is caused by the environment. And this can be a few different factors that are in the environment. For example, uh, well, we've got a list here, radiation, heavy metals, pollution, uh, noise, stress levels, and drug abuse. So all of these are environmental uh, causes of disease. And now, uh, metallosis is a pretty serious disease, but we're going to concentrate on asbestosis. Uh, it's caused by exposure to asbestos, uh, which is used in a lot of uh, houses. Uh, and this includes uh, problems like uh, respiratory problems, uh, fibrosis of the lung, so that's um, a fibrous uh, tissue growing, uh, causing the lungs not to work very well. Uh, when this tissue tears, it causes the coughing up of blood, uh, hypertension, uh, and difficulty in swallowing. So this is quite a serious disease, uh, one that we've only really recognized uh, in the fairly recent times. In this video, we've looked at non-infectious disease, that is disease not caused by a pathogen that cannot be transmitted. We've looked at inherited diseases uh, or genetic diseases passed from parent to offspring, for example, uh, Down syndrome. We've looked at nutritional diseases, 
uh, caused by poor nutrition, for example, scurvy, and environmental diseases caused by exposure to uh, bad things in the environment, for example, the exposure to asbestos leading to asbestosis. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.